I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to another 60 Seconds Challenge video. And this challenge is the. Da -na -na. <laughs> and this challenge is the Pokemon Challenge. One of my favorite shows growing up as a kid. I loved the hell out of that thing. I played a lot of the Pokemon games, even Pokemon Snap. That is one of my favorite games to play. Wonderful. But anyway, here is how the Pokemon Challenge goes. I don't know if I'm going to love this challenge or completely hate it because I saw that it had a lot of rules, but here it goes. A Pokemon Challenge. Like in Pokemon, you will need healing items. So get healing stuff like food, water, medkit, and cards. The Boy Scout book will be your save file because the book can save your life. Your rival is your wife, so do not help her with anything and what she gets, she keeps. Pancake will be your Pokemon that you're going to capture, so if you don't get Pancake, then it's game over. Timmy is Professor Oak, and Mary Jane is a female trainer, so you must help them. Raiders are Team Rocket, so you must defend yourself. Once you get Pancake, then you have won! Play on normal mode. You must accept everyone's request like Ash does. The radio is your Pokephone. <laughs> Pokephone. That's funny. The map is the map like in the Pokemon games. The Pokedex will not be an item, but it will count how many steps it takes for recruiting Pancake, like how it keeps count on how much Pokemon you catch. Good luck. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. The only one I'm having confusion with is your rival is your wife, so do not help her with anything, and what she gets, she keeps. But it didn't say that I need to get everybody, so we might as well eliminate her from the equation already and let her burn in hell. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to get the items that I need. Food, water, medkit, and cards. Food, water, medkit, cards. That's what I'm going to get first so I can get it out the way, so I know which items to grab and not to grab. I'm not going to get my wife since she is my rival. Grab that. And grab that. What else? Water. Yes, sir. And let's head on over. Come on over, baby. So I got water, food, med kit, cards. Okay, let's get a lot of food. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, get it! The fuck? God, I swear, the clicking of the items is such a bitch. Let's grab Timmy. And where is Mary Jane? There you are with your mom. Say your goodbyes, Mary Jane. Your mom will not be coming with us because she's my rival! <laughs> Gonna let her burn in hell! Let's get the bug spray, and let's get that, and that, shit, I'm running out of time, you know what, I need the Boy Scout book because it is my save file, yes, there it is, let's get the radio, for shites and geigles, where is the map, there's the map, oh god, get the map, baby, the map, get one more water, and fuck it, I guess that's what I'm gonna have to use for the first run, I don't know how I'm gonna do, I need to get Pancake. That's exactly what I need to do. Fuck, I didn't get the flashlight. Hopefully the flashlight's here. Please, if the flashlight is not here, then the Pokemon challenge can't begin. Please, 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 please. Ah, oh, no flashlight. All right, gonna have to do this run again. All right, this is the second run of the Pokemon challenge. I fucked up because I didn't get the flashlight. And if I don't get the flashlight, then I can't get Pancake. And I need Pancake to win because he's my Pokemon. Let's get that. And that. Come on, Mary Jane. You should run slower because you have Mary Jane. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. Fuck, Timmy. Why do you have to be in the corner of the most crowded place in the house? The fuck, bro? Where? Oh, get the cards because I need that. And the map is under the bed. The fuck is the map doing under the bed, Timmy? Is that your porn? Do you like fap to like places across the United States? The fuck is wrong with you, bro? There you go. Got the flashlights. And get some of that what's here. Let's throw this in there. Sorry, rival. Damn, it is so slippery with the controls right now. I don't know what's going on. Let's hit that. And that. And that. Okay, I'm gonna get a lot of food. Just cuz. Oh, wait, I need the Boy Scout book. Durr. That. Ooh, padlock. Yes. Okay, two more food. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, there. I think we got everything we need. You know what? I'm gonna try to grab this axe. No, fuck it. Fuck it. Okay. Kobe. We got everything we needed. Let the Pokemon challenge begin. Day one, ladies and gentlemen, we got the flashlight, book, radio, map, a lot to wata, a lot to the soup, and we got a gas mask, first aid kit, and the lock. Let's go. And we got the cards, because we needed the cards. Does it say I need to do anything here? Pancake will be your Pokemon, Timmy is Professor Oak, and Mary Jane is a female trainer, so you must help them. <laughs> Mary Jane, a female trainer. Fuck out of here. Raiders are Team Rocket, so you must defend yourself. Once you get Pancake, then you have won. Play on normal mode. Okay, so basically I can play the way that I normally play, but these characters are different people. Like, Timmy is Professor Oak, which is crazy. Timmy should be the trainer. 
But you know what? Since we are Ted, then we have to be the trainer. So it makes sense. I get it. And when I was younger, when I first heard about Pokemon, I loved Bulbasaur. I know he was the very first Pokemon in the Pokedex. I just love how badass he was. Like, he looked like... I don't know, he looked like he was mad all the time. He was like, bad <laughs> bye And I was so happy that, um, you know, he had the vines coming out of his bulb. But let's continue. This dreadful silence is becoming boring in, like, every model family. We don't have that many things to talk about. Is there anything we could do about that? Anything at all? Yes! Let's use the radio! And back to what I was saying. Bulbasaur was my favorite. But then when I started playing the games, I realized Charmander was so awesome! Charmander was bad fucking ass. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Timmy's in terrible shape. Ted has one foot in the grave. One more day, ladies and gentlemen. I'll feed and give you water. Mutant rodents are attacking our supplies. We're not sure if they're rats, feral bunnies, or just mutated hamsters. All of these options are pretty grim. We could use spare ammo or something else to get rid of every one of these pests. Well, too bad I don't have a weapon. And yeah, like I was saying, once I saw Charmander, like, you know when you could pick the three balls to get one of the Pokemon? It was like Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander. I remember I chose Bulbasaur first, but then I was sad because I was like, fuck! Charmander is way cooler than Bulbasaur! So I was heartbroken. I was, I was conflicted at that moment. All right, it is now day seven. Where did that green puddle come from? Oh dear, a pipe is leaking green goo? That's not good. That's not good at all. We need to act now and no one packed him up. What do we do? Let's use the Boy Scout book to clean it up. I've never gotten that. Like, why do you need the Boy Scout book to learn how to clean green goo? Does it have, like, a tutorial for every problem in the world? Ha! Problem solved. No leak, no mess. Back to our tidy little shelter. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking about it all day. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Where's the water when Ted needs it? I don't know, Ted. Maybe it's up your own ass? Ring, ring! There we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again. When suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone go answer it? Yes, let's send Professor Oak! Wonderful! He would know what to do, right? The professor knows everything! It better be the twins, and not a solicitor. Please. Please. Yes, when we answered the phone, we heard a gasp of relief. Yes, it's the twins. Good. We were afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe now. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Where the hell is Pancake? As we were looking through our map, we came across a few markings that were not original. Someone has added a pointer to a location near us. What would we find there? We don't know. Maybe it's worth sending someone to check out? Normally I would say no, but this challenge you need to accept every request, every option. So I'm going to send Professor Oak out again. Actually, you know what? I'm going to send the female trainer. Because fuck the female trainer. That's why. Oh, and now the female trainer is sick. What the freaking do? We had fun following the map clues despite the grim post-apocalyptic surroundings. They brought us to an old tree with a hollow in his trunk, which contained a set of checkers. That's a lucky find. What is that doing in a hollow tree? Nothing made us happier than the sight of the female trainer returning from the shelter. Yes. Okay. Let's give them some of that. And nobody's gonna go out to the wasteland. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Yes. And more random notes. I have a question for you guys. Who was your favorite Pokemon? You know, I only knew the original Pokemon that first came out, but then there are so many now. Like, I don't even know now. Well, who is your favorite Pokemon? Write it in the comments below. If I don't know the name, then that's crazy because I usually knew a lot of uh, Pokemon back in the day, but now I feel like I don't even know. It's like foreign to me now. Let's give him the gas mask because we don't know what's going on outside. And yeah, I mean, I, I love Charmander now. Like, Bulbasaur used to be my favorite, like I said, because he was badass. But Charmander, he was just so strong and powerful, especially when he evolved into Charizard. I was just like, oh shit! Like, I couldn't contain my, like, Pokemon boner. Day 13. For an isolated fallout shelter, we sure have a lot of disturbances. Something has been making a lot of noise since dawn and we couldn't sleep. It seems to be coming from under the floor. And coincidentally, we just found a manhole that we could use to go down and check what's going on. Okay, I need to accept every request. So we are gonna use the flashlight. Hopefully it doesn't break on us because we need pancake. Please. I don't want them to get sick either. Yes! Ted is not sick. <coughs> Excuse me, Ash. Ash is not sick. Who'd have guessed we had a secret wine cellar under our house? Thanks to our trusty flashlight, we were able to hunt down the remaining bottles. The contents tasted more like water than wine, but as long as it's liquid, we're happy. Yes, we got two water bottles. That is awesome. And one more day until I give them food. But it says here, as long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us. Yes, let's get connected with the soldiers. Any ending will do. I don't care if we get the twin ending, 
or the military ending. It doesn't even matter because once we get Pancake, we have won. But the trick is trying to get Pancake here, and he hasn't been, like, he hasn't been recognized yet. Like, we don't have no option to get him yet. Day 16. Enjoying the little things in life is important in any situation. So when Mary Jane found some seeds in the shelter, she got really excited. She thinks that with a little luck and enough water and soil, we might be able to grow our own food. We don't know if these are vegetable seeds, but if they are, planting them might be worth a shot. Shall we use a bottle of water to start our own garden? Well, we have to say yes, so let's get out our green thumbs and grow that garden. Even though usually when I grow the garden, some bad things happen. Like, I remember there was like a big mutated plant trying to eat people and then it hurt like the family members. Here goes nothing. Soil, seeds, water. We'll see what happens in a few days time. Let's just hope these seeds don't turn into some useless flower. Mary Jane seems optimistic enough. Uh, he better be. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. There isn't anything going on with Ted. Where is Timmy? It's been a while. We don't know much about what's happening on the surface. Let's connect with that. Come on, Timmy. You're the real motherfucking MVP. There you are! He heard my voice! And he looks sad! The fuck you sad for, bruh? We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement service, and guess what? Great news! The fallout outside is mostly gone. Yay! And it's good because my gas mask broke. And Timmy brought back two soup, two water, one gas mask is gone. Fuck me. We were visited by a young woman today. She's on a mission to rescue her twin brother, who went missing after he challenged a local bandit leader for a duel. She said they've been observing us for a while, and they were hoping to visit us together eventually, but then her brother went missing. She asked that we help her reunite with her brother and promises we will not regret it. Alright, Ash, your time is up. I choose you, brother! The woman quickly called a group of friends and we set out for what turned out to be a successful mission. Finding the lost twin brother wasn't a problem. He was hanging on top of some antenna next to the fence, trying to escape. In his duel with the bandit leader, he lost a hand, but the group quickly tended to his injuries and he'll be just fine. The siblings thanked us a hundred times and they said they would definitely contact us again. Ash has returned from his voyage to the surface. That is good. The female trainer keeps fainting and Professor Oak needs food. Fuck you, Oak. And nobody's gonna go out yet. Actually, nah, nobody's gonna go out yet. More random notes. Where is Pancake? I need my Pokemon! Day 21. A stranger pushing a rusty wheelbarrow filled with all kinds of goods stopped by today. He claimed he's a trader looking for barter and the item he requires. Okay, so we need to accept this request. And out of all these items, the one I would rather give up, obviously, is the cards. So let's give that up and we get one water bottle in exchange. Huh, is that a good deal? Mm. Whoa, that plant Mary Jane has been tending to is growing like crazy. It's also glowing in the dark. We've never grown carrots or anything, so we're not sure if that's normal. Maybe it's good to collect whatever fruit it's produced? Oh man, I don't think anything good's gonna come out of this, but we need to accept that, whether we like it or not. Oh, I hope... Okay, good. We got more food out of it. That's the good thing. Good call with the plant. We were able to procure four cans worth of food from it. The glow seems to give it extra nutritional value. Oh, we got four cans from it. Hell yeah! Water is what the female trainer needs most. Professor Oak is very hungry. And if Ash doesn't drink anything, he won't last any longer. Well, too bad, so sad, guys. Nobody's gonna go out yet. And more random notes. I'm just waiting for Pancake to come. Hello? How am I gonna defend myself if I don't have my Pokemon with me? And the female trainer said, fuck this! I'm gonna go out in the wilderness and, like, fight some Pokemon or some shit. I don't even know where the hell she went. And nobody's gonna get anything. We have a lot of food and water. Holy fuck. And, yeah, nobody's gonna go out. And we were able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific location in the area. Then leave a sign that someone is still alive and kicking nearby. The problem is, they provided us with geographical coordinates, but we need a map to find out where we're supposed to be headed. Otherwise, it's just complete gobbledygook! I love that word, gobbledygook. Let's use the map to find the place instead of it being gobbledygook. A quick glance at the map gave us all the info we required. We left them a message in a bottle. Okay, it's day 25, everybody needs to eat some soup and drink some- What's up? Nobody's gonna go outside. And there's a man on our doorstep, and he wants to be our friend. At least that's what he says. He looks harmless, although he seems to have acquired an extra pair of arms as a result of some weird mutation. He assures us we will not get sick and ask for our help. If we could provide him and his group with some supplies, they would repay us by helping us fight off the next raiding party that comes our way. Should we accept this offer? Hell yeah. Let's give them some soup. That is so invaluable. Like, you have to get that if you're playing this game. Like, if you're curious about playing this game, help the people with the extra arms! Because they're gonna help you either with scavenging 
or they're gonna protect you from raiders, so that's extra protection for you guys. It feels good to have some friends in this cruel, empty wasteland. A few of our supplies is a small price to pay when it comes to the safety of your family. I agree. Timmy should eat something, no new problems are troubling Ted this fine morning. Great. Better not be. Nobody's gonna go out yet. And breathe calmly. One, two, three. That's better. Don't panic. Don't panic. We need to open the door this instant or we're all gonna die. Open the door. Yes. Open the door. Get some fresh air. Just smell. Just go. Oh, yeah, baby. Fresh radioactive air. It smells so good. And fuck. Ash is sick. Professor Oak is sick. Great. We're all sick. Opening the door and letting contaminated air in was a great idea. Now, instead of phobias, we need to deal with vomiting. Timmy is very hungry. Ted got sick. Fuck! Nobody's gonna go out yet. And someone is very serious about banging on the hatch. We are scared to open it, but it might be some good news, right? We would gladly welcome any friendly face, even if it was our neighbor, Ned. We're pretty sure that if there was any reason why our town got bombed, he would be that reason. Shall we open? I really don't want to, but we have to. So YOLO! Here goes! Oh god, please don't be the end. Day 28. Okay, what happened? We opened the hatch, but there was nobody there. Damn, pranksters making jokes even after the apocalypse? Whew, at least it wasn't raiders. Thank you, Jesus. And the siblings kept their word and visited us again with a request. Aw, oh, and they need the axe? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out on an expedition. And then since we can't do that, so we have to decline it. But then I'm gonna send out Ted since he's able to go. And hopefully he brings back an axe. So let's send that old Teddy boy. And I don't have any items that he could really get. So yeah, we're just gonna send him out. And we are gonna pray to the 60 second gods that he comes back. Please, Ted, do work for us. Day 30. What is that? It seems like a distant rumble, but it's getting louder. And why is everything shaking? Oh god, it's a quake. Grab something and hold on. Get the flashlight because we won't be able to see Pancake without it. And an earthquake this late in the game? Why? Why you do this? Oh my god. What happened? That is some bull. Ted has been outside for far too long, and he still has not returned. We fear he isn't coming back. We didn't make it. These are our final words. And our advice to anyone who reads this is... Blah, 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 blah. Survive for 34 days? Damn it! Alright, we gotta try this again. Saying yes to everything isn't the problem. The problem is the randomness of Pancake. Like, sometimes Pancake will come on day 3, sometimes he won't come until day 30. That's the problem. You never know when Pancake is going to arrive. But we are going to play this again, and I will see you guys once the Pancake option becomes available. So let's go! All right, here we go, guys. Second playthrough of the Pokemon Challenge, and it's only day nine, and now Pancake is here. So he is outside. We see a pair of eyes looking at us. Let's shine our flashlight in cute little Pancake's face. And then proceed to get him into the shelter eventually. We decided to check what's coming for us with our flashlight. Guess what? It was a dog! Yay, cute little puppy dog. And it's also day 10, so we need to give them some of that. Nobody's gonna go outside yet. And the other day, we heard a quiet knock on our door. But when we opened, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep and there was no one around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it was meant for us. Should we check what's inside? Well, we're Ash, right? We have to accept everything? Please don't be one of those bear traps inside or the radioactive water. Yes, and nobody's sick. So it was probably something good. Inside the suitcase, we found some soup, but yuck! It expired a long time ago. We're not feeling very well. Some of us spend the whole morning using the bucket in the corner. We're not accepting anonymous gifts ever again. Until another anonymous gift comes, then I have to accept it. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying so out loud. Timmy isn't feeling very well. Ted is fine. So out of the three people that ate the soup, only Timmy got sick. Ain't that a bitch. Day 12. Open in the name of freedom, came a shout from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? Open it, but as we're doing it, we cross our fingers because damn it, they might go in dry, guys. Inside of our buttholes dry. Do Mary Jane first. And... I think we're good, right? They didn't steal shit. We regretted opening the door the minute we saw who was standing on the other side. Dark faces, rifles, and determined looks of a band of teenagers. We're doomed, we thought. Then, out of the blue, one of them asked us if we're the Reds. We never supported the Red Sox, so we confidently said that we weren't. The tension dropped immediately, and those nice young people gave us two bottles of water. Yay! And we got the two bottles of water right there. Awesome! Day 14. Scratching on the door could only mean one thing. Our dog friend is back. 
We raced to open the door, not considering it might have been a mutated beast, but luck smiled at us. The furry fellow seemed really tired and hungry. Should we feed him? Hell yes! If we are going to beat this challenge, then Pancake needs to come through that door. And once he does, da 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 we have beaten the challenge. And I am so excited for that. Day 16. We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is, they probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is, they are huge and will probably attack us when they get the chance. Alright, let's get the book, slap him over the head, tell him no, 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 you cannot come in here and steal our supplies. And boom, all our supplies are still there. Like a boss. That was close. That was close. A nest of those glowing bugs might have been more than enough to drive us out into the wasteland. Roaches are the worst, but radioactive roaches? Yikes! Alright, everybody is good. That's what I like to see. And when we opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There was no note on it and the neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? Well, you said before that you would never do these things again, but fuck it. We are gonna do it again. And please don't be something gross. Good, nobody's sick except Timmy. He still looks like shit. And there's no such thing as too much water nowadays. We inspected it thoroughly after taking it out of the suitcase, but it looks absolutely harmless and purified. Yes, we got another bottle of water. Fuck yeah, bro. Nobody's gonna go outside. And we can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tidy little bunker. Oh, it's a radio situation. But our radio broke because the second day of this playthrough, there was an earthquake and I needed to save my supplies. I saved the flashlight so we can get pancake, but the radio was broken in the process. So let's see, nobody's going out. And at breakfast, we heard a knock on our door. It was a man with a rather excessive number of arms. He has told us a group was having a hard time finding supplies. Wherever they'd go, they got shot at first sight and asked questions later. It's probably because of their appearance. The friendly mutant presented us with an offer. In exchange for some supplies, his folk would escort us on our next expedition and make sure we come back home safely. Yes, we have more food than water, I believe. Five and three quarters and four and three quarters okay so we can spare one food there you go mr four arm guy enjoy hey 21 we did expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop yet here we are we can clearly hear a phone ring outside yes let's send professor oak come on baby boy yes gasper relief town of hill valley it is the twins yeah baby okay where the hell is pancake though Pancake came back today very agitated about something. He really wanted us to get out and follow him somewhere in the neighborhood. Yes, let's uh, get the axe. And we will be back. I know grabbing the axe is the best option when uh, that, uh, that situation comes out. Because the map, I believe, I forget where it leads you to, but I know the gun scares him away and he never comes back. A man with an axe is a force to be reckoned with. Those two thugs we ran into while following Pancake learned this the hard way. Pancake was a real hero too. He chased them off and nearly made one of them leave their trousers behind. Not that anyone would want them. Yuck. And they left behind four bottles of water. That's what I'm talking about! And more random notes. Okay, one more step into getting Pancake into our bunker. Let's hope we don't run into any situation where we need to use the med kit. Because that is gonna suck the biggest balls out of any balls that you could possibly suck. The trash can is becoming full of empty suit cans and that unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Yes, use the Boy Scout book for that. And the whole problem should just go away. Aw, oh, fuck. Timmy left. Where'd he go? Timmy was very sick and there was nothing we could have done to make it better. He understood it and probably decided he's better off far away from such irresponsible parents. He left and never came back. Well, fuck you too then, bro. I don't need you. Not gonna send anybody out. And more radio situations that we can't even do. Day 26. Oh no, Pancake came back, but he's badly wounded. Some bastard was trying to catch him or worse. We need to act fast and save him. Get the first aid kit. Yes! We beat the Pokemon challenge. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Woo! And look at him, guys. He's so happy. He's like, hey, guys, thanks for saving me. I'm your Pokemon. How can I help you? All right. So what we're going to do now, we are going to try to get rescued. More random notes. All right, man, this is gonna be fun. I don't know if I'm gonna get rescued, but knowing that the challenge is already done and I could do whatever I want now, it's YOLO time, bitches. But Ash does accept every request, so I also need to do this thing right here. Um, I don't know, I need to pick one of these, fuck. Okay, um, out of the ones that I have, I guess I gotta use the gun. Ah. 
damn it! For a checkerboard? Fuck my life! That sucks balls. Whatever. We'll be okay. We have pancake with us. We should be fine. The weird man tried to make us buy fried chicken on a stick, covered in some mysterious sauce. These snacks look pretty disgusting, so we turned them down. But we bought something else from him. He looked a bit disappointed. He's disappointed because he got a gun for a checkerboard? I should slap him in the face with my dick. And we are gonna send somebody out. Let's send Mary Jizzle for shizzle. Day 30. We were about to finish our dinner, if you can call it that, when we heard someone knocking on the door. It seems to be a trader who is very interested in ammunition. How about that? Huh. I don't really remember what happens when you give this person the ammo, but since we have to do this anyway, let's give them the ammo and let's see what situation arises. Our visitor was happy to get some ammo. In return, he offered us rations. It wasn't much, but something is always better than nothing. Okay, so we got ammo for food and a gun for a checkerboard. I am the worst survivalist in the history of surviving! Day 33. It would be a good idea to let Pancake out for a while. He's a dog, he needs his space for running and other things. So how about we send him outside for a while? Yes! He's gonna run outside and maybe he'll either give us a med kit, which is rare, I've only gotten that one time. In all my times of playing 60 seconds, he's only gotten a med kit once. And he didn't bring anything back. Whatever, I still love you, Pancake. Mary Jane brought back one food and ammo. And yeah, that's about it. Okay, let's feed her. And this morning, we were surprised to find a letter on our doorstep. It was not signed, and it contained a location and time for a meeting tonight, and a few sentences. It said things like, We're friendly, come on arm, send one person. We have no idea who could have sent that, but we're guessing this is our chance to find out. Are we sending someone? Yeah. We're sending Ash, baby. It's true. It's all true. There really are others just like us. We arrived at the rendezvous and on time, and we were greeted by a friendly looking group of survivors. They're being led by twins, a brother and sister, who seem friendly enough. They asked some questions and promised to stay in touch. All right, that's good. Let's give them that. Nobody's going outside. And the cockroach situation, smash them with the Boy Scout book. Day 37. Today we've met a bunch of people dressed in what looked like Halloween doctor outfits. They claim to be a field hospital moving from place to place and attempting to help those hurt by the hazards of the wasteland. The problem is, some of their supplies got eaten by something that looked like a Sasquatch. They're asking us if we have any spare hydrogen peroxide. There you go, take some of that water. I don't really know what you can make with water, unless they already have like chemicals to do that. Then that's what the water would be for. But they didn't have doctor's licenses. And yeah, they're basically a bunch of bitches, but we gave them some water and that's it. Great. Fuck, I gave them water for no reason. Day 43. We got scared a little bit today when all of a sudden our map just fell off the wall. Maybe our shelter is haunted? When the map fell down, it revealed some sort of safe behind it. We don't remember installing it, but we can probably crack it. Well, we technically have all the time in the world to do it. Should we try? Yes, we have to, because Ash accepts all requests. I don't remember him accepting every request. I remember him being like an eager son of a bitch. Like, he's always like, yeah, you know what, fuck it, I'll do it. But I don't remember him accepting everything, and we got a med kit! Fuck yeah! Now we can give it to the female trainer. That's what I'm talking about. Nobody's going outside yet. The twin siblings contacted us again. Today, they visited our humble shelter, saying they're looking for a map of the nearby area. Their plan is to find a relatively safe place for a new camp that could accommodate their whole group and anybody else who would want to move in with them. A plan of this city would be very helpful in the situation, at least to help organize their scouting expeditions. Yes, give them the map! Our plan is coming together, guys. We are gonna get rescued. I promise you, look me in the eyes. We're getting rescued. Day 47. It would be a good idea to let Pancake out for a while. Yes, let's let him out. Whew, maybe he'll get a med kit too. I mean, there was a med kit inside the safe, but I'm greedy. I want another med kit, damn it. He didn't get a med kit, but I think he brought back water. Yes, one water bottle. Good pancake! You're the best Pokemon. We took some time examining our map and found it some paranormal symbols scribbled in a few places. It appeared as if someone had written something in the area and provided directions to it. Should we send someone to investigate? Might as well send the female trainer, because if it's bad directions, then Ash is done, son! And then it's the end. But you came back, so it must have been legit, I think. And it was two cans of food. Hell yeah, boy. Okay, it is now day 51, and it said Mary Jane caught something nasty. Are you fucking kidding me? Bitch, you nasty. And now she needs another med kit. That was such a waste of a med kit. Oh my god, that pisses me off so much. <laughs> Why, Mary Jane? You just got healthy, and then you got sick again? Oh my god, I just want to... 
When emptying our bucket in front of the shelter, we discover a hastily drawn map on one of the ruined walls. Someone drew it out a route and marked a spot at the end of it. Maybe there are supplies hidden there. Should we check it out? Uh, we have to. Damn it, Ash. Please come back. Ash has a beard now, too. Looking pretty good on him. And now he's sick! Woo! The twins better come back. And we got a suitcase out of that. But still, this is crazy. And the government is trying to contact us, but we don't have a radio. So too bad, so sad. Please, one of you guys get better soon, or else we are completely capital F fucked. Day 54. Pancake has been barking and barking for hours. If he doesn't get out, he will go crazy. We will go crazy, and anything else that's living in here with us will go insane too. Should we send Pancake outside? Yes. Go free, my friend. Run. Run as far as you can. Please bring back a med kit, though. And he didn't bring back a med kit. Well, it's okay. You're still cool in my book. Nobody's going outside. And we were sure we looked through our supplies carefully, but Mary Jane spotted something all of us missed. A seed. A plant seed. Should we plant it to see what happens? But we need a bottle of water for that. Should we use it? Eh, fuck it. YOLO. Day 57. Someone paid us a visit today. It was an overly cheerful, red-haired woman accompanied by a grumpy-looking mercenary type who was probably her guard. Okay, cool. So we need to trade one of our items. And the suitcase for the med kit? Hallelujah! Yes! That expedition wasn't for no reason. We got a suitcase, baby. And we are gonna give it to Ash because he gotta catch them all, baby. He ain't catching the sickness. There we go, give him that. Nobody's going outside. And there it goes again. Noises, weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes, walls? Is something behind the door? I don't know, but let's play a card game so we don't go insane, shall we? Having some fun made us forget about, what was that again? Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today. Ted has recovered from his sickness and he has rested. Yay. And nobody's going out again. And we need to fix this green puddle. So let's use the Boy Scout book. Seems logical enough. Day 61, Pancake wants to go outside again? Damn, you want to go outside all the time. Well, usually a dog goes out, you know, two to three times per day to, you know, pee and poop and all that. I'm surprised he only goes out like once every couple of days. Where does he poop? On the corner? In Mary Jane's mouth? And he didn't bring back anything, but it's okay. I still love you. It's not every day you wake up to a carnivorous plant trying to eat you. Fuck! Damn it, Mary Jane, you eat a damn plant. Now we gotta use the axe to destroy it. Unless it destroys us. And it didn't, but the axe is destroyed because I don't see it anymore. But we got two cans of food from it. Eh, whatever. Give and take kind of situation. And we need to fix our trash can. Boy Scout book again. God, the Boy Scout book is the real MVP in this episode. Day 64. The friendly group came back today to say that the camp is almost complete, but they need a few more items to make the place really worth living in. It's mostly about the children. There's a bunch of them in the camp, and their only entertainment so far is playing tag in the sad ruins of their homes. The group is collecting toys to keep the children happy and to stop them from running off into the wasteland. Okay, since we picked up the cards in the beginning of the challenge, we are going to use the cards to give to the twins, so it serves as a useful item. Yes! And it's day 65. Damn, we've been playing this for a while now. I thought this challenge was going to go by just like that. But then, you know, since we want to get rescued, we are going to have to just go up high in days. But we completed the challenge a long time ago. We were never huge fans of mushrooms, but with the colony of them growing on one of the walls, we've changed our loyalties. We're all about mushrooms now. Should we eat them? Well, we have to eat them, so fuck it. And Ted, please don't get sick. If you get sick, I'm going to be so sad. Yay, you're not sick. Day 66. Mary Jane used to be cheerful, but lately she is feeling a bit down. She clearly misses her music lessons. She keeps humming her favorite classical pieces, imitating the sound of a tuba. So she said she would die for a chance to play it again, which may very well happen if we let her out of the shelter. It would help to bring a smile to her weary face. Maybe we should consider letting her out for a short walk around the house above? Sure. And if she doesn't come back? Then whatever. I'm still getting rescued by the twins, so fuck it, right? And she didn't come back! <laughs> She's like, this is my chance to escape! Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. It's been too long. We fear something bad has happened to her. Back in a few days? I let her out for like a few minutes! The fuck did she go? She only went up to the top to get her damn tuba. Mary Jane, where the fuck are you? Okay, it is now day 70. Ted is crazy, but we have our Pokemon pancake right here. I think we are gonna do good, guys. We are gonna get rescued. Nobody's gonna go out. Oh shit! I almost didn't give him food and water. Holy shit, dude, that would have been so bad. Woo -hoo! Good thing I caught that before I started, like, spamming the next button. Damn. I would have wasted 70 days of this shit. Okay, nobody's going outside. 
and someone is at the door. We're a bit scared, but maybe it's a friendly face of an American soldier. Should we open? Okay, guys, put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Please be the twins. No, it's not the twins. Oh, fuck. And Ted is hurt. Good thing Pancake didn't run off. Shit, that would have been all bad. And the raider camp on our street has been especially maddening lately. Well, I don't have any weapons, so we can't do that. Oh, my God. I raised my hands in the air. I really thought that the twins were here. But damn, where are they? I'm starting to get a little bit, like, antsy now. Day 75. Pancake is quite agitated. Letting him out for a run seems like a good idea. Maybe he will find something interesting. Yeah, I mean, we might as well let him out. Unless he runs away. <laughs> and I fail the challenge again. Okay, good. Whew. That's crazy. Oh, he brought back one can of soup. Good, Pancake. Good boy. And our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks from the retirement home. Well, we have to accept this request. So, I guess old people, you're gonna have to die. We had to do this for the family. It had to be done. We really don't want to mention it again. How about we talk about something else? Soup, perhaps? And we got four waters. Hail to the yeah. We could really use some more supplies. We counted all of them today, and the numbers did not make us happy. You just went for supplies, you greedy fucks. So we gotta do it again? Oh my god. And it's teachers this time. They're gonna smack us with books, but we have to accept it. Oh, this is not good. Day 78, this is not good. At least he's not hurt, though. Well, he is kind of hurt. He's a little bit bloody. I don't know if that's our blood or their blood, though. It's gonna be weird. And we were admiring the radioactive landscape when we saw a young woman dressed in ragged camo clothing. She had a nasty looking rifle, but she hailed us in a polite enough manner. She claims to be a hunter tracking down a big mutated spider. Say no more, take my ammo, just take it. Okay guys, it's 82 days and Ted is going crazy and like messing up the place. I think he just destroyed the map, yes he did. And the twins aren't even back yet, it's been so damn long. Pancake has been barking and barking for hours. Okay, let's let him out. I'm starting to get worried, guys. Because I have a feeling once you start hitting those people in, like, retirement homes and those teachers, the twins won't rescue you. I don't know if that's a legit fact, but they haven't been here for a while. Day 88, and nobody is here yet. And Ted is going crazy. I might as well give him some of this because we have a lot anyway. Hopefully he can recover from his sickness. And there's another government radio situation. We can't do it. I'm beginning to think that my theory that if you kill people, you can't get rescued. I think that's true because nobody is coming for us. I am so screwed. Pancake has been barking and barking for hours. See, now these things are just repeating. Uh-oh. I think we're fucked, guys. Where the fuck are they? Oh, my God. The end? No. Oh, <laughs> Ted's wounds were too serious to leave untreated. They became infected and took Ted's life. Surviving the apocalypse is no easy task. We can tell you that. We held out for 91 days. Damn. Wow. Well, you know what? We finished the Pokemon challenge. We just didn't get rescued. That was my personal goal. But we did what we had to do, and we did it well. So if you guys have any more challenges that you want me to try out, please post them in the comment section below, and I will take a look at them, and I will choose the one that I like the most or the one that the Cub Scouts community likes the most. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead, too!